Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mind Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help get your mind right, to help improve your mind, body, and spirit. So let's see who the Holy Spirit wants to plant a seed for at this time. With King or Queen, Zodiac or Element, does the Holy Spirit want to use to get out a message? Let's see. Libra, Libra, oh shit. <laughs> Let's see, Libra energy, Holy Spirit. What do you want us to know? So, look, fate and prophecy, okay? Holy Spirit, what do you want us to know surrounding Libra, air sign energy? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. There may be a Libra who's shaking the table the way that camera shook after Libra energy came out. Let's see. I don't know. Holy Spirit, clarify, please, and thank you. What is it that you would like for the collective to know surrounding Libra, air sign, energy, Holy Spirit? We're very grateful and thankful for all of the wisdom, insight, and clarity that you provided us with thus far holy spirit but what does the collective need to know at this time that will help them get their mind right surrounding libra air sign energy please and thank you holy spirit what is it that we need to know from you through me at this time holy spirit let's go talking to the moon so there's a libra who's been talking to the moon Making some noise, stirring something up, possibly spiritually, though. Talking to the moon don't necessarily mean you're doing spell work or moon magic. Talking to the moon could mean that you're praying, that you're reaching out to the spiritual realm for understanding, for absolution, for, for justice. Okay, so like I said, there may be a Libra who's shaking things up, who's shaking the table because of what they are asking to happen, what they are praying about, what they are seeking understanding, and it's causing divine order to take place. Okay? The reason why this is happening, though, the reason why they're being... They're getting this response from the universe, from the Most High God, is because this Libra is in alignment. This Libra is balanced. This Libra, they, it could be your sun, moon, or rising, but it, it's the energy, too, that you possess, okay? So there's no guessing game when it comes to you and which side you are on, whose team you are on. People know who team you own, that you are on the team of the Holy Trinity, okay? That's who you rock with. I'm, that's what I'm picking up. That's who you talk to up in the sky. That's the moon for you. We had them big boys on the bottom, but I'm going to let it come out on its own. Because it's something that's being shaken up because somebody been praying about things, not being in alignment, possibly. Winch, who smoke. So y'all really got to get up out of these narrow mindsets because y'all swear somebody be hoes, but you don't never see them fucking. You don't never hear about them hooking up with nobody. Hadn't heard about them hooking up with nobody. Anybody you know this person slept with, it's been many, many moons ago, years and years ago. Okay, like people be trying to put negative connotations and stereotypes on motherfuckers. Okay, but that really speaks to their level of insecurity because they have no proof that what they claim about you is even accurate. And anybody that's believing what people may be saying about you, that's why the universe is, is acting up on your behalf. That's why you get injustice. You don't even got to be a Libra, but justice is definitely raining down on motherfuckers 
for trying to play you like you some winch hoe that like to smoke weed all the time. Okay? Because they love trying to throw that damn narrative around about a motherfucker, but you damn be tap dancing on top of these people's head. Okay? For real. I almost said something else. But that might be coming up for somebody because they keep trying to play with you and defame your character and slander you. And the universe is tired because you are in alignment. You're far from what this, these people trying to say you are. And it's obvious who you love and who you rep. And they finna see who don't play about you. Okay, some of these people are already seeing clarify because I'm telling you this slander and trying to call somebody ignorant and black and a booger and a bald headed hoe and fat and a winch who smoke weed all the time who ain't got shit going on. Y'all know y'all liars. Y'all know y'all jealous and y'all envious and everybody can see that what you're saying is far from the truth. They can pull the history. They didn't did they research. They know this person that you lying on, that you claim is about that life, is far from it. And I'm telling you, this is how motherfuckers is getting caught up. Because, see, they out here trying to create a facade about who you are to prove their lies. Somebody may have even been creating fake accounts in your name, stealing your identity, trying to make it seem like you are some sort of wench just to justify their slander. But you have been ignoring ignorance and you've been praying to God about it. And I'm telling you, things have been moving. Justice is being served. You may never hear about it, but these people gonna learn to stop playing with your motherfucking name. Yes, they is now. Cause see, you are in alignment with the most high God. I don't give a fuck what you used to do. I don't give a fuck how much weed you smoke. If you are taking care of your business, handling your own bills and responsibilities, you're not asking anybody to do anything for you and you even helping and taking care of other motherfuckers, can't nobody say nothing about how much weed you smoke, okay? Motherfuckers really need to get their shit together and coming for you and claiming things about you is not them getting their own self in alignment. Because people going to miss me with this stupid, ignorant shit. They ignorant. And they swear you ignorant. They ignorant as fuck. They can't do and act and behave and believe anything that they do, act, behave, and believe Nowhere else but right there in that little small circle they exist in. I can't even believe that we still having debates and arguments about people smoking marijuana. In 2024, how ignorant are you that you still think somebody that smoked weed is a winch or a recluse or a louse of some kind. Child boo. It be people pulling up in fucking luxury cars to the fucking dispensary. Hello. Child boo. Moving on, because I'm tired of this dumb shit. And if you on this type of dumb shit and you watch me, you need to change your ways. You need to get in alignment. You need to let go about other people's lives and their decisions and let God worry about yourself. Manifest the life you want instead of being out here slandering another. Because I'm telling you, anybody that's been set up and talk shit about you and then got the nerve to try to create fake accounts to prove their lies about you. The universe handling they ass. I done told these hoes about making all these fake accounts and people names and shit. They gonna get enough. And somebody is in trouble for that. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Somebody is in trouble 
or trying to make you seem like you are a karmic energy. Somebody that got put on ice. I'm telling you, a high priest energy, a masculine energy may have even been doing something spiritually to put you on ice. Might have put your ass in the freezer. But that ass has been put on ice for being out here making up fake accounts, stealing your identity, doing whatever he was doing to make it seem like you were a wench, a pothead of some kind. Who, what else do we need to know about this high priest, Holy Spirit? Uh-huh. What else, Holy Spirit? Because it's really giving some sort of dark web energy this high priest did against you to try to prove that you were not in alignment. This is somebody that you were serious about. This energy here. This person could be a Pisces or have, or they could be some sort of alchemist here. This person may also mess in spell work for real. I'm telling you, I'm picking up. They tried to freeze you at one point, stop you from getting in alignment the way that you have. Stop you from having the faith that you have. The action that you were taking with this 1212 here. This could be happening in North America. This is most likely happening in North America. But you wanted to have a family with this high priest. And he felt like you were for entertainment purposes only. And I'm telling you, he's put you with this identity theft and fake accounts. This man has somehow created digital energy of you being a wench. But he in trouble for it. He didn't get away with it. And I can't make it up. All because you told him that he needed to man up or leave you alone. And he wanted you to be for entertainment purposes only. But you were trying to be in alignment. You wanted a divine partnership. You wanted a family. That's crazy. This an ignorant motherfucker too now. This motherfucker probably smoked weed, but he be sitting up talking shit about you. If you smoke weed, I'm pretty sure you do. He be sitting, he didn't try to make a big deal about you being a weed smoker, but this person smoked weed too. Stay out of my energy. I don't play with demons. That's that's what you told him. Somebody told him, don't go outside behind this divine feminine that you mad won't be your concubine, won't be your wench. I'm telling you, that's why he did this to you because you refused to play that part in his life. This has come out before too. How they get mad because you don't want to be a third party bust down karmic ass hoe. And who's to say, maybe at one point you was being the bottom bitch, but you ain't want to be that no more. You wanted something more secure. You wanted more of a commitment and he wasn't willing to give you that. So you continue to keep moving forward. This man was upset about that shit. Do you hear me? So that lets me know he knew you were worth more than entertainment. Ooh, I'm trying to tell you. You are another kind of weakness, a divine weakness. That he thought would never give up on him too. You burst this man's bubble. He had to get you back. Because you had always been in this give and take energy with this high priest because you thought he was fated to be with you. You were fated to be with him. Prophecy and children, I'm telling you, you wanted to be with this man, have a family, build a home, build a solid foundation. He didn't want to do that. And this was his response to you moving on with your life. He said he was going to sacrifice you, girl. He was going to ruin your reputation and make people think you were guilty in some sort of way. Okay. Mm -mm. 
And that is the most strange, weird ass behavior when I come across energy that does this type of shit. The masculines and the feminines who do it, they strange and they guilty. And this man may have been found guilty for doing that sad thing to you. Testimony, child. Some, look, somebody told him to not do this to you. And that same person who told him not to do that to you, I'm picking up, is the person who testified against him. I'm telling you now, clarify, Holy Spirit, this testimony energy. Gossiping men. One of them gossiping men who heard about how this karmic high priest masculine had then put you on the dark web, told him not to do that shit, but he did it anyway. That person got reported him. Yes, he did. He testified against this karmic masculine as he should have because it's not right. Thank God. Thank the most high God for men who stand up for women that they know are being victimized and abused and assaulted. Thank the most high God for them. Because there is a man who this man thought was on his team who knew about what he did to you and he told him not to do that shit and he did it anyway. And that person turned this high priest in. He testified against him. They use masturbation to harvest your energy refrain. There's something spiritual he was doing to you as well that this man may know about. Okay? But there are hidden helpers around y'all. There are always people. When you are in alignment and on the up and up and doing the right thing, even when people try to slander you. Okay? Even when people try to create facades about you to prove their slander if you are doing what you're supposed to do god gonna balance things for you justice is gonna be served okay you can make it past all of that scrutiny hope is here i'm telling you you are not alone because shit has hit the ceiling for this person who tried to ruin your inheritance and foundation for your future by trying to make it seem like you were a slut bucket. That's why this culture of trying to promote slut behavior and whorish antics and activities, if these, if these women have not looked at people in the past who went down that same road and you see what the outcome was for them, that should tell you that's not the road that you need to go down to get any type of popularity or prosperity. Because you see how people will immediately go to that type of rhetoric to destroy a woman, to dissolve her good character. Because that's exactly what this person immediately went to do to try to destroy this divine feminine, but it's them backfire. Okay, it's them backfire. Because you were in some sort of serenity, balance, in alignment energy. You had decided who you loved most of all, and that was the Most High God, the Holy Spirit, your ancestors, your spiritual team as a whole. That's who you sought, sought solace, forgiveness, understanding, and justice from. And you getting it. You may have known or, oh, you getting it because that's going to be your energy. You may have known about or, or felt like this man had done something foul against you, but you didn't know what exactly. Okay, that may be very well what you prayed about, whatever this high priest, karmic ex, could have done. And the your spiritual team protected you. Mm, mm, mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Final messages. Final messages. City life. You could live in the city here. Fight. This man picked a fight with you, though. 
spiritual bullying and or spiritual manipulation. This person could also live in the city. You may have met them in the city, in the city you live in. This person may have children already, I just heard, but they decided they wanted to pick a fight with you, child, and they was going to put you on the dark web, BBW. I'm telling you, they love trying to call somebody fat. They love trying to call somebody a hoe. They love trying to say a motherfucker ain't got shit and that they do, they, all they do is smoke weed all the time and shit. That's a damn lie. You be running circles around these hoes. These hoes be doing shit that y'all did 20 years ago. They still trying to do the shit that you did 20 years ago. Okay? And I ain't talking about nothing that I don't know. These hoes is still trying to catch up with some of y'all divine feminines from things that y'all have accomplished 10 and 20 years ago. Places you have went. Things you have done. Rooms you have been in. Y'all be truly running circles around these same people who claim that you ain't about shit. And that's why the universe be checking these people left and right. And like I said, you may not hear about it, but the universe know that you got your priorities in order, that you got your shit together. And it don't matter what these people say. Because I'm telling you, whoever this is, this masculine X is to you. This person was out here trying to say you was on drugs, that you had addiction issues, and that you were in winch energy just ain't about being a hoe. Winch energy is somebody who is just shiftless, trifling, lazy, good for nothing, you know, will sit up and just be a louse, just, just trifling, child. That's what he was trying to say about you. In addition to some sort of sex energy as well, but that was the overall theme he was trying to sell, and he in trouble for it. Final card, Holy Spirit. Final card. Mm -mm. Travel. That that's something else that people were saying too. I picked this up like back in March. Motherfucker probably was trying to say about me because of how I was traveling. Cause I picked this up right after I had came back from Europe. But somebody was even trying to say that you be traveling like escorting. This crazy. Look. People's animal instincts know that you are not doing this shit. Shit. Look, they know. People know that you is not in this energy. I swear that's what I'm... Look, time to retain legal representation. He done got in trouble for being out here slandering you and defaming your character in various ways. And I, this ain't no civil shit, shit I'm talking about. He's, he's done this in a criminal way. Mm, because you had an awakening. Because you decided that you wanted to level up. Wow. That's wild right there. This man in trouble for what he did, though. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.